Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the wise woman that builds her house and the foolish woman that pulls it down with her hands. So if you are interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. The wise woman builds her house, but the foolish woman pulls it down with her hands. There are multiple ways for foolish women to tear down their homes with their own hands brick by brick. Some women do everything possible to sabotage herself and her marriage. This particular Proverbs verse applies to women, specifically silly women that take delight in foolishness. The Bible calls a wife and mother to be a manager of her household on behalf of her head her husband and for the sake of her children. You should want to be a wise woman who does her husband good all the days of his life and whose children call her blessed and her husband praises her. You should not want to be the foolish woman destroying her home with her own mouth and hands. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. How does a wise woman build her house, even in a society that promotes being an independent woman? A wise woman fears the Most High, her love for the Creator, His Word and His Truth. She understands that wisdom is obeying the Father's laws, statutes, and commandments. She knows that wives are first companions than helpers. Usually, people get help where they are weak or where they lack time. Look at the areas in your life where your husband needs someone to fill in the gap and meet his needs. The job of being a helper differs with each marriage. You were created to aid him, not hinder him. Consider asking your husband areas he would like you to help him. A wise woman builds her house by working diligently with her own hands. The creator of the heavens and the earth is our helper. In this context, the Most High is our strength, our rescuer, our protector, and our help. He acts on our behalf. He sends us help when we are in need. That is not subservient. Wives are to provide valuable and vital strength and assistance to their husbands. A wise woman will apply this wisdom to the building up of her house. Her family will prosper. She will lovingly raise up the children along with her husband. She will manage the details of the household. She will bring a quiet and loving spirit into the home, which will be a haven of prosperity, safety, and love. How does a foolish woman pull down her own house? By carelessly or spitefully. Adopting destructive habits that alienate and impoverish her family. Loving your husband and children will call for sacrifice and laying down your plans. Comfort, sleep, manicured nails, and me time for them. Until you have put someone else's needs above your own. You haven't really loved. The foolish woman follows the trends of the world. She spends money the family does not have. The foolish woman invests the family fortune foolishly in what she does not understand. She mocks, undercuts, and derides her man, robbing him of confidence, courage, and his rights as a man from the Creator. She demands her own way, even with tears and threats, until she gets what she wants. She whispers to her children that she, not their father, really loves them, while she subtly, or not so subtly, undercuts his authority. A wise woman will stay within her marriage bed. The house of an adulterous woman is wicked and a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. A wise woman creates the right atmosphere for her children to grow up in and thrive, for her husband to find warmth and a place for retreat and for visitors to find hospitality. But if she is foolish, her world will fall apart, and her own hands will be to blame. Let her be obnoxious, let her live for instant gratification. Lover of self, let her be a nag and a gossip to her family, and there will be discord and disorder. For many of us, Learning homekeeping and hospitality is slow and calls for painful sacrifices because it involves the kind of work that gets no accolades. No one notices the dishes are clean unless they are piled in the sink. Kids don't say, thanks mom for clean clothes. Few remember to praise or thank the one who made the food that appears on the plates. The creator of the heavens and the earth sees all. We will give an account for our stewardship of our home. The clothes that a woman chooses to wear can also dishonor her husband. Because the flesh wants to be seen because pride, because money, because fashion, because of low self-esteem, most women are harlots with no understanding. If a woman tends toward foolishness, a gentle but firm standing man of the father should be able to help her see and change her ways. A foolish woman can be unruly and defiant. The woman of folly is rowdy, she is gullible and knows nothing. The foolish woman is loud, undisciplined, and without knowledge of the creator of the heavens and the earth and her responsibilities as a woman wife and a mother. The wisdom that the Most High gives women is special. Just look around you at the women that came before you. They didn't have that wisdom, 
because they listen to the world and not to the Father. Far too few women see the value in building their house. This is perhaps the first way foolishness affects the family. The woman has listened to the culture telling her what will give her her value. The Bible does not forbid a woman to work outside the home. But there is nowhere in Scripture that would indicate her primary responsibility to be anything other than to be a keeper of her home. But with her own hands, the foolish woman will tear her home down. A foolish woman is quickly irritated and quick on the tongue. And the tongue can burn down your house if uncontrolled. I have taught myself to swallow my words a lot when relating with my husband. When I discovered that whatever I was about to say does not edify, I have learnt to let go of things, to forgive quickly even before it is asked of me and to not take offense. I have learned to have a gentle and quiet spirit. Men bear great responsibility because they are the head. But this verse is directed toward the wife and mother. If you see a household torn down, you can expect to see a foolish woman behind it with dirty hands. Some ways that foolishness can manifest is disobedience to her husband, selfishness toward the children, modeling wickedness, loving the world, living for the praise of the world and not the Creator, lack of discipline, and inability to control her anger. And you will find gossip on her tongue. You will not find gossip on the wise woman's tongue. And the wise wives are to be women worthy of respect. They are not malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. If your husband is not meeting your needs, physical or emotional, talk it out. And if he still doesn't, know that is why we need a Savior. No human being can perfectly satisfy our every need, otherwise we would not need the Most High. Take your requests to the Father in prayer. He can remind your husband to be more thoughtful than your constant whining. He can change him better than you ever will with your ceaseless nagging. Gentleness will make him love to come home rather than hide at the office or a friend's house, dreading the daggers from your mouth. Women can build or pull down. Tearing down a house with one's own hands requires hard, often angry work, but it is easy to get started. Just do what comes naturally. That is, put your own whims and desires first, and when they are thwarted, destroy. Every husband has faults, so in the name of justice a wife can always justify pulling down her house. Building also is hard. It requires daily work, love, and patience with the imperfections of your husband. The wife who takes the tearing down path will bring suffering on herself as well as others. Because when a house is torn down everyone loses. But in the welfare of her household, a wife will find her prosperity. The wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pulls it down with her hands, not just by doing nothing when she should be working, but by tearing things apart with her own hands, tongue, and feet. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.